Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Ole Henriksen Dutopia 5% Acid Night Cream. This product retails for $60. So when I first read the title of this product, I wasn't sure that it applied to me. I'm not looking for anti-aging or specifically hyper-focused firming products, but when I read more about this product and the benefits that it's supposed to show, it says it's supposed to brighten the skin and provide great results that exfoliants provide. And so so I was like, that does fit me, so why not try it? This product is vegan, cruelty-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. The highlighted ingredients in this product include alpha hydroxy acids, Edelweiss stem cells, not sure that I'm saying that correctly, I just looked up a pronunciation, and shea butter. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. This product is expensive, and this product also has some fragrance in it. If you are sensitive to fragrance, I wouldn't recommend trying out this product because I did smell it and it does smell fairly strong. I am able to use fragrance in skincare. I have no problem with that. Is it my preference for an exfoliating night treatment? No, but I haven't felt this product yet and so that will determine how I feel about the fragrance in this product. As for the things that I'm looking for, I first want to see what results I notice with it because honestly, I'm not going to pay that price point if it is not showing results. The second thing I'm looking for is how often do I feel like I can use it. This product does have some alpha hydroxy acids in them and they can be a little bit more sensitizing to the skin so it would be best to start out with this product slowly especially if you are newer to actives maybe doing it once a week and building up from there. The final thing I'm looking for is how does this feel on the skin. Even though this is a night treatment I don't like for it to be overly suffocating and I also just want it to feel pretty bad. Balanced. So I wake up with my skin feeling hydrated, but not completely suffocated. So that will just be the main things I'm looking for. But as for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. So I'm not gonna lie, this product I feel like goes against some stuff that I've preached before because I hate fragrance ingredients in products that are focused on AHAs and exfoliants. This product on the other hand seems to be very gentle from how I've used it the first few times. It hasn't caused any redness, it hasn't caused any sensitivity, and it's been very effective while also being very gentle. I think I read on the website that they only put 1% or less of fragrance in this product. But in my opinion, if you are sensitive in any way, shape, or form, no matter how gentle I think this product is, I don't feel like that you should use this product if you are very sensitive, especially to fragrance. It is potent. Like, it is a very potent smell. I do feel like that this product is delivering some great results. I had a lot of texture right here. Within the next morning after waking up using it for the first time, it completely cleared that texture. It was like magic. My skin is looking very good right now. It's looking very glowy and I'm liking the way it's looking. How I've been using it is I've been using it once every other night and that's been perfect for me. If you are more new to using actives, I would recommend starting out once a week. This product is a little bit more intense than some other gentle exfoliants that I've used. So just be mindful of that, but it is a moisturizer and I'm enjoying that aspect of it. It does make it, I feel like just a little bit more gentle and even though it does have fragrance in it, I haven't had any sensitivity with it. I've also used this product like three or four times and I have barely even touched this product. I don't have to use very much of it. It smells kind of lemony. It's not overwhelming and it definitely fades very quickly, but you can definitely tell there's some fragrance in that. And it's a little bit of a unique texture. So when you first get it out, it's almost like a balm texture. That's the best way I can describe it. As you can see here, it's like fairly thick. After the balm, it kind of just melts into this cream. It feels really good. But look at that glow that it gave to my skin. It's the perfect final step in my skincare routine. I do go in with a little bit of a lighter weight moisturizer before this, and I use this as almost an overnight sleeping cream to kind of seal in the moisture. This product adds such a glow to my skin. Even though I don't promote fragrance in skincare, like I don't recommend it, especially if you are sensitive. I do enjoy it from time to time. You know, it just smells good, and I am enjoying this product. It is delivering some great results to the 
the skin and it's also very gentle from my experience. I'm gonna continue using it and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all my final thoughts on this product. So in my opinion on paper, I don't feel like this product should work. I usually do not recommend products with actives in them that also include fragrance ingredients, but this product in execution, for me personally, performed very well. Like I said, on paper, I usually wouldn't recommend products like this because I always like to have very gentle ingredients that accommodate actives. And this product has those, but it also has fragrance ingredients that could cause irritation. So I'm just gonna say, if you are sensitive to fragrance, obviously I would not recommend this product. And this product is also very expensive. Given the results that I saw with it, I do feel like it is worth it because it did great to combat my texture and combat some hyperpigmentation. I mean, my skin looks really good right now and I feel like it is because of this product. I was able to use it once every other night and it caused no sensitivity with me. I didn't experience any extra sensitivity with my skin the next day and my skin actually felt very hydrated and nourished. I also know that a lot of people do not like using actives as a moisturizer because sometimes you need a little bit more of a moisturizing product. I feel like this product was very gentle and also delivered some great hydration to the skin. But if you are looking for a little bit of a cheaper alternative, I do love the Bubble Overnight Sleeping Mask. That product has a very gentle exfoliation in it. And if you are sensitive to fragrance and you're wanting a product similar to this, I would recommend that product because it doesn't have a fragrance. It has some very soothing ingredients and it also has a very gentle chemical exfoliant to it. So it won't be sensitizing to your skin. This product, like I said, I am able to use fragrance products, but this product was very gentle in my opinion. I don't think I would recommend using it every day. And if you are newer to using this product, then I would recommend starting out once a week. As for me repurchasing, I did see a great number of results with this and it was a little bit more than the bubble one, but I honestly feel like the bubble sleeping mask did around the same things for my skin and I would repurchase that product product over this one. But like I said, this product's not a bad product. It's kind of a gray area where I'm like, I did see some faster results with this and I did see some great results with this and a little bit better than the bubble sleeping mask. But I personally don't struggle with fine lines and wrinkles. And that's what I feel like this product was mainly designed for. And so if you do struggle with more skin concerns like that, I would recommend this product. And especially if you are willing to pay the little bit of an extra price point, this product is great. And like I said, if you do struggle with a lot of the things that this product covers, then I would recommend this product. But I mainly use this product for my hyperpigmentation and my texture. And I know a handful of products that I would use over this one. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week. And I will see you all in the next review.